Nigerian security advisor will be rebadum. Don't arrest two of the people where they do this cryptocurrency business. And I remember say they say they don't ban that cryptocurrency business. See now they make they follow our Naira the fall. Nigerian security advisor Rebado detained two Binance executive in Abuja seizes their passport over Naira free fall. Two senior executives at Binance have been detained in Nigeria as the country attempts to curb Naira speculation to steady its free fall by clamping down on cryptocurrency exchanges. The two of Binance, two employees of Binance were detained in the Nigerian security forces in Abuja on Monday night as part of an investigation into the cryptocurrency exchange operations in Nigeria. Two senior executive advocates have been detained in Nigeria as the country attempts to curb narrow speculation to steady its free fall by clamping down on cryptocurrency exchanges. Financial Times report that executive flew to Nigeria following the country's decision to ban several cryptocurrency trading websites last week, but they were detained by the officer of the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribadu. According to the report, their passport was seized, as reported by people private to the matter. An advisor to the office did not immediately respond to the request for comment. Binance de declined to comment. On Tuesday, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Olayemi Karoso, said $26 billion passed through Binance, Nigeria, from unknown sources and users. Sahar reporters reported that he stated this in Abuja in the Monetary Policy Committee MPC meeting of the Apex Bank, the first since he assumed office in September 2023. His comments came amid the free fall of the Naira and clamped down on Barack's the change by President Bola Stirimbu's administration in an attempt to steady the rapid decline. Cardoso said the government was concerned that certain practices go on that indicate illicit flows f going through a number of these entities and suspicious flows at best. He continued, in the case of Binance, in the last one year alone, $26 billion have passed through Binance, Nigeria, from sources and users who, cannot adequately, who we cannot adequately identify. There's a lot that is going on now. As a result of collaboration between the different agencies would include the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, the police, and of course, the office of the NSC, the National Security Advisor, and in due course, as it progressed and have more information to share, we will certainly share and suffice to say, we are determined to do everything it takes to ensure that we take charge of our market, or put differently, do not allow others to manipulate our market in a way that ends up distortionary and sub-optimizes for all Nigerians. We will not accept it and we will do everything possible to prevent any of these kind of infractions from taking place. Sahar reporters reported last Friday that popular cryptocurrency trading platform Binance had confirmed that its official website could no longer be assessed by Nigerian users. This was stated in a statement released by the firm on Thursday, assuring its Nigerian users that the situation should not make them panic as the funds were still protected. The company said the blockage was in line with the regulations and rules spelled out by the relevant Nigerian institutions. We are aware that some users are experiencing issues assessing Binance.com along with other platforms in the industry, the statement read in part. It's added that the blockage affect only, affected only its users accessing the platform via its website, not noting that its app was still functioning for users to create the platform. It continued, only users attempting to access the website are impacted, although the app is currently available. Importantly, all user funds are secure and accounts can be accessed. Binance added that it would continue to actively engage with regulators, policymakers and other relevant stakeholders to foster an important transparent dialogue about managing the evolving landscape of cryptocurrency. However, findings by Sahara reporters revealed that Nigerians could not assess the Binance website and some users also found it difficult to assess the firm's application via their mobile devices at the time of filing this report. 
as person will not get and will get a uh, what's in the color i know to get with him uh, i know to know for this cat, uh, particular matter whether they call cryptocurrency and all of them i don't know as a use concern the naira with the fall sincerely i know understand but i shall not say i know say even the government at this point in time we know if you trust the government even as the government they come outside they shout say eh this one happened Binance, now you make this one happen. Binance, do this. Binance, do that. Still on steel. Still on steel. <laughs> we know if we trust them all. Sincerely. We know if we do it in. We know if we trust them. Deal with all of them. Binance and other cryptocurrency should be banned from Nigeria if they're promoting dollar in Nigeria. Well, me too. I have that kind. I have a, what's it called, that kind of push. If it be said it's Binance, they harm our Naira. As in, like I said, they harm our Naira. You know, they make them grow. It is suppress them. <laughs> so, like I said, I don't get clue about this one. Eh? This one passed my power. Binance is another form of Yahoo. Wow. Yahoo guys use it to cash us. Eh? Anything that will stabilize the Naira is welcome. Exactly. Like I said, anything will be said will stop our Naira from going on. Make them, uh, from growing rather. Make them do it and make them, trap, make them trash them. Anything that will stabilize the Naira. The way Akarambre gets sold up before 9 a.m. But the two women find Akar on my street is suspicious. They may have a, a hand in a, in a Naira free fall. Please arrest them to just to do anything. Anything. Why are you people like this? The untouchables are not in fear of what next. The era of Sidon, they look, don't go. Oh. Like I've said it before, anything we be say will make our Naira, make everything go well. Eh? If the government, they do, I'm no wahala. The problem of Nigeria economy is not about Benin's, but it's all about the removal of forced subsidies. If a subsidy is not reversed, Nigeria will continue to suffer economically. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's the issue here. Returning the so the so the what's it called the subsidy will not guarantee anything. It will not guarantee anything. If I see any politician spending dollars, Kai, I will shut down Nigeria. <laughs> My own business. That's why I'm saying we don't trust the government. And you know why? Because even though then they shout, eh, make people no use Binance. Make it be said then to no use them. No be said then go outside, go shout, make people no use Binance. Then go enter their house, carry their own phone. They use the same net. They will do the same thing when they say make people no do. All right, so on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.